Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of iPrint 3D. This week we have a base tutorial for Lightyear Pro. Most of the time I adjust the bases to an angle that suits the printer I'm using. Today we're working at 53.1 degrees. Now when we talk about bases, they're usually pretty simple. And folks, some folks just like to print them flat on the base or tilt it like these. And that's fairly, pretty much where the conversation stops. Now the overhangs and such prevent a little challenge here and there, but overall it's still just as easy as supporting a base. This one in the middle here though is a bit of a doozy, so let's go for that one. Right, let's go ahead and start with raising it off the platform, about 4 millimeters or so. And right, we'll set a shape wrap for more strength. And then let's go ahead and set the medium for all the island anchors. Alright, we can see the first contact, contact point here, so we'll start with this, building a small foundation of supports. And I'm just going to move this one around, I don't really like the placement. I want them close, but I don't want them too close. I want them close enough that they're going to partially fused in the middle there, but not completely to the point where they become really hard to pop off. So that's a good start. It gives you four direct contact points. And once we see the main, main, main point of contact, the initial piece that starts the print, aside from the supports, is that one piece is touching four points, which is a nice place for that to start. That means it's got a very good chance of surviving its initial printing phases. So now we have to make sure it survives the rest. So let's move on to the other areas on our islands first. There's not too many. We can use the uh, slicer, slide up and down and figure that out, or we can just pop them around. You guys know the drill. And of course, use mini supports where available, where they'll fit. Now, keep going around until you hit all the islands. Personally, I feel like every one of these little plants actually is an island, or at least has a partial island where something is sticking out. Uh, I'm not really sure why Lychee isn't detecting all of that as islands. I have it set to real. So. I'm not sure. That's a strange point. Um. Every one of those should technically have at least some island point coming out of the uh, middle. I am going to eventually support that. We're going to go back and fix that eventually. But uh, first, what we need to do is we need to actually support the base so its bulk of it will survive. And bases are a pain in the butt because unfortunately they have a large surface area. So what we want to do is we want to add a cage or a main frame of supports around the bottom. They need to be tight, but not too tight. So pay attention to placement as to make sure that they're not clustered too close so you don't have tree trunks or a wall. 
but you do want strength. So you do want some level of resistance there. And again, we're working with medium supports still. This is not heavies, these are mediums. I will put a few heavy anchors in there. Now, if you want to take advantage of the support painter, bases is always the great thing to take advantage of the support painter with. Uh, they are big, flat, usually square or round, and that's a great opportunity to paint on supports. A lot of other objects become a little too tricky to just do accurate painting unless you want to take it real slow. And then you might as well just click one support at a time. I think the painting feature is kind of to each his own. You either love it or hate it. I'm going to add a little extra support in the front, and these will stab into the front of that support, the, the base, a little bit, but nothing that's really going to cause too much of a problem. And then I'm just going to add some bracings. And you know what? Might delete this little one on the end there. Boop. And there we go. Now we have a front support system, and the cage is starting to be built, so now we can finish fleshing that out. This is actually fun sometimes. The spacing is good. Let's keep going. That looks decent. Okay, we're going to add one more in the space that we missed. And then we can add some bracings as well, finally, to make this a bit stronger. Which will give us a nice final cage. Looking good. All right, the next stage is to add some heavy anchor points to the bottom. This will also add some bracings uh, on the bottom that will be heavy bracings as well to keep these anchor points stable. And we're gonna make like a little cross in the middle. And the reason I chose the cross shape is for balance. It is to balance out weight. Okay, the next phase after we add these bracings, we're going to go in and add uh, additional supports underneath. Now, I might be able to print it like this. Um, I wouldn't want to chance it. Bases, like I said, have a large surface area issue most of the time. We're going to switch over to some light supports for now. And we're going to do some more painting with the light supports. And we're going to add light supports around the areas that are missing any supporting. And we're going to kind of paint and fill in the gaps. And hopefully the light supports will make up some of the difference for where the medium and heavies are not present. Not too bad. I do find bases always to be a little problematic. Um, the peel force and actual tension they create on the F on the FEP sheet is it's a bit more than just a standard bottle sometimes. I mean, unless it's a very large piece. Um, something I don't think folks consider too is that the larger the vat, the bigger your resin printer, the bigger your FEP sheet, the more force I think that is pulled at the center. So 
when you're creating these bunches of bases and you're doing it all at the same time. And I think, you know, sometimes when you get failures that way, that might just be due to the fact that you're simply just trying to do too much on a vat that's just too large. You know, there's, there's lots of different theories as to, uh, you know, that sort of stuff. But I definitely have had some experiences where the same type of supporting system will not work on a large scale printer that will work on a small scale printer. And that goes for a lot of pre-supported files as well, where they will not work on my large scale printers. So I wind up having to do most of that supporting by hand, which is fine because honestly I would prefer to because at least I know what I'm going to expect at the end of the day. Instead of just kind of having the uh, shock of, oh, a failure or, oh, this was happened or, you know, something like that. Pre-supports can work. I have worked with quite a few companies that actually do quality pre-support work. Um, not all of them, though. Not a lot of them either. As I continue to add little tiny supports to every single one of these little plants that is kind of growing out of the bottom here, because honestly I do not trust these these humps and bumps and, and these 40 degree angle areas, I feel like we could potentially have a problem. Um, overall, what we want to do is reduce the amount of force and warping applied. Bases always get a little pulling and warping at the bottom, and sometimes you get what I call pimples, which are these little bits at the bottom that kind of stick out, and they just look like little pimples all over the bottom. Very easy to remove. You can simply shave them off with a hobby knife or give them a good sanding, and boom, they're gone. But it's such a pain to have to sand or shave all that off of dozens and dozens of bases. Uh, so just have to find another resource and think eventually. All right, any other pieces that are standing, we need to make sure that are supported. Uh, we can use lights here. Just make sure that there's nothing left floating. Uh, if you need to use the slider to go up and down to kind of analyze the areas, go ahead and do that. Uh, usually I just eye it up based on what I'm looking at. All right, and that is about it. This thing is about ready. At this point, you can export and get ready for print. Now, again, just remember with bases, you want to make sure that the bottom supported. You want to make sure your islands are supported, just like anything else. And you want to make sure it has enough strength to support its tension and force potential. So just keep all that stuff in mind. Anyway, that is it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Drop a like, sub, and comment if you care. Thanks so much for the love. See you all soon, real soon. Anyway, again, thanks again. Thank you.